Ezekhli Chadu starts the day with a very long walk to school. It takes almost an hour to get there. She lives in KwaZulu-Natal province in South Africa, in a village near the east coast. I have to get early and just be ready for school. So early because it's too long. The way is too really long. There's no public transport around here. Children often arrive late at school or just don't go. She goes to Inkulu Primary School. The deputy principal says a number of issues need to be addressed. There is this problem of late coming as well as also absenteeism. That is the issue that we are having. And there is the risk of girls walking on the road to see. There is this problem of crime. You know the crime in South Africa is very high. There is that problem also. A few kilometres away is the base of an NGO that wants to solve the transportation problem for poor local children. Nadia Erasmus, Ayanda Masangemi and Sam Wenger are part of the team of Sweet Bike. They're unloading 470 second-hand bikes recently delivered from Switzerland. They'll go to kids at various schools here in the area around Margate, 140 kilometres south of Durban. So basically when the new container arrives, it's like, I feel like a small child who's just about to open a lucky packet. It's really like, this is the change that you bring into the country. That's the type of feeling that I get when the container arrives. It's a very good feeling. Sweet Bike got going last year and has already provided more than 1,900 bicycles to schools. Each one first has to be assembled and tested at the Sweet Bike workshop. The project depends on donations. Depending on how much money comes in, Sam Wenger and the team buy and import up to several containers full each year. The COVID-19 pandemic has meant delays in deliveries recently. So we're trying to squeeze everything in before the closing of the schools for the festive season, um, which is a bit stressful at the moment, but we'll, we'll manage. The workshop has five trainee mechanics. Nadia Erasmus is in charge here. Together, they process about 40 bikes a day. Vocational training is another core element of Sweet Bike's mission. The aim is to enhance skills and create jobs and new opportunities in bicycle assembly, repair and distribution. Our idea is at the end of the year to equip them with enough skills so they can either open their own workshop or be placed in a job opportunity in the field. We try and teach not only to think of it as mechanics, but also maybe selling bikes. Some of the trainees already have plans for when they complete the course. In future, I would like to have a shop for bicycles and sell it to rural, to rural areas because there's not much transport there, so they can use bicycles. Sam Wenger and Ayanda Masangemi are going to visit a friend and former trainee. He lives in a village a few kilometres away. Supermandla Sinama completed the course a year ago. He now runs a bike workshop in his house. Sweet Bike gave him a starter set of tools. He thought a lot of school children would come to have their bikes looked at, but the pandemic and lockdown meant schools were closed and few actually showed up. Still, business is not bad. I'm getting more like um, elderly people because uh, they are working um, like um, in town. So obviously, like, um, they can come here like, uh, just to fix their, their bicycles. The next morning, back at Sweet Bike, it's time to distribute a batch of newly assembled and tested bikes before schools close for the Christmas holidays in mid-December. These bikes are for Inkulu Primary School. Progress is slow on the unpaved road. The children are excited about the bikes. 
especially Azithle Chadu. For her, it had been a long wait. First time they came here, I felt like I would get a bike, but I didn't get it. I thought maybe if they come again, I will get one. And it's happened. How do you feel? I feel so happy. Before the kids can set off on their bikes, they get safety training. For some, riding a bike is an entirely new experience. Now I have my own transports. I can go wherever I want to go. And it's, an, it's easy. It's as simple as that. Balancing on two wheels takes a little practice. But Esihle Chadu is keen to learn and would like nothing more than to cycle to school the very next day. Pressure, 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 pressure.